In this video, we discuss digital currencies. Digital currencies can be thought of as any money-like asset that only exists in a digital form. They can be exchanged digitally, no physical banknotes or coins are in circulation, and they're not controlled by any central banks or governments. Now, we just want to provide a little note here between digital currencies and cryptocurrencies. The example syllabus states that a digital currency is one that only exists electronically. Now, this is not strictly true. The most common and widely accepted definition of digital currencies states that digital currency is any currency that is recorded and transferred on computers. For example, pounds, euros, dollars in an online account. You can hold traditional currency in a physical or a digital form, depending how you store it. This means that traditional currencies can exist as digital currencies when they're moved and held and processed online. Cryptocurrencies, on the other hand, is a purely virtual currency. There is no official physical version. In summary, cryptocurrency is a form of digital currency, but not all digital currencies are cryptocurrencies. Digital currencies have long been an accepted form of payment for goods and services. As with traditional cash, digital currency can be transferred between different accounts when a transaction takes place without any physical cash moving around. This has been made possible due to online banking, phone banking apps and smartphone payments such as Apple Pay. Although these traditional digital currencies exist as data on a computer system, they can be transferred into physical cash when needed. There are literally thousands of cryptocurrencies. Although there are some earlier versions, many consider Bitcoin the first major cryptocurrencies, and it's certainly the most well known. Although not as widely accepted as traditional currencies, more and more shops, manufacturers, businesses and even nations are accepting bitcoins and other cryptocurrencies as a form of payment. Digital currencies rely on a central banking system. Of course, the limitation with centrally managed currencies are being able to maintain confidentiality and security with a central banking authority and system. Cryptocurrencies do away with a centralized and regulated banking or government authority. Cryptocurrency uses cryptography to track transactions. Transactions are publicly available and easily tracked and therefore checked by everyone. And the systems are held within a blockchain network, making them very secure. Now we're actually going to look at cryptocurrencies and the blockchain process in a lot more detail in the next video. That's everything you need to know about digital currencies for now. Pause the video and take some notes.